Hello Retroburn here. Today I was planning to make another episode for my Let's Play Battletech series, but then it hit me that I was assigning skill points to my pilots in haphazard fashion. So I decided to make this guide as a sort of a note to self video that I'm sure will help others too. So with that said, I would like to insert this caveat. This is by no means an exhaustive Battletech pilot skill builds guide. I just made this so you guys will know my thought processes in coming up with a pilot skill build. Like step 1, listing preferred mech roles. Then listing traits that the pilot should have to fulfill those roles. Then picking skills that best represent those traits. And then sifting through the official forums to know the titles given to pilots with those skill combos. The skill builds discussed here revolve around my preferred playstyle. Nothing more, nothing less. So what's my preferred playstyle, you might ask? Well, a substantial percentage of the players in the official Battletech forums do not like squishy light mechs in their lands. This is something I would like to put to the test. For newbies, is the light mech a viable addition to a lance? We will see. So yeah, first off, my lands will always have a light mech for the purpose of this little experiment. The addition of this well-defined role also reflects my fascination with teamwork. I believe it's more enjoyable to play a group that's made up of units that have clearly delineated functions. Hence, in my rough draft, I've cobbled up the following roles. 1. A scout with sensor lock ability. 2. A melee-oriented assault mech. 3. Something with high mobility that can surprise, flank enemies. And finally, an artillery mech. For the first role, the scout, I've chosen the following skills. Piloting, evasive movement and ace pilot, while in the tactics line of things, as, uh, the sensor lock ability. Sensor lock doesn't need to be explained. Every lance should have at least one pilot who has that. It debuffs enemy evasion pips and lights enemy units up. What's not to like? Evasive movement maximizes survivability as it generates an additional evasion chevron for movement. In addition, somewhere in the level 6 to 7 range, I'm not sure, I, I think it's in the level 7 range, piloting can also passively confer a 20% sprint distance bonus. Other skill trees also have passive bonuses at most markup levels, except tactics which only gives you passive bonuses starting at level 4. If you're curious about the passive bonuses for each skill markup, I've left a link to the official Battletech Wikia skills page on the description box below. This skill combo should maximize my scout's ability to sniff out enemy mechs while also improving its survivability. For the second mech, the melee-oriented assault one, I believe that the pilot should have skills geared towards stability, durability, damage mitigation, and speed. Now, when I made uh, this lineup, I wasn't sure if I could get all of the skills, but I just decided to max out the Guts line of skills and get Bulwark and Juggernaut, and from the piloting line of skills, I decided to get the Evasive Movement. So, a melee-oriented mech needs to get to its target fast while shrugging off any damage it might take while beelining for the enemy. I need the speed buff, and the extra evasion pip the piloting skill line confers, so I'll probably be getting all 7 piloting skill slots filled up. The passive melee bonuses the piloting line gives you are also a huge plus. For survivability, I'll be maxing out the guts skill line. Bulwark is a good skill considering that it mitigates 50% of the damage your mech receives to all sides, except the rear of course, if you're remaining station stationary, that is. Now, that may not be beneficial to a mech that's meant to always move, but I might as well take it given that investing in the guts line increases your pilot's hit points and his or her chance to survive if he or she ever becomes incapacitated. Juggernaut is also a good skill. It's basically a crowd control one given that opponents who are physically attacked will be knocked back one initiative phase, denying them an earlier attack. For the third mech, because I've structured my lands to have clearly delineated roles and hence clear overpowering strengths and potentially debilitating weaknesses, 
Like for example the aforementioned melee mech not getting to its target fast enough. This third battle mech is going to be the hopefully ace up my sleeve. If things don't go my way, I need someone to go around the map picking out exposed weaknesses in the opposing team. Hence, I need something like my melee oriented mech. A mobile one, but a more ranged oriented weapons platform. It needs to be fast and accurate. Hence, I chose this combo. I need to max out gunnery and take the multi target and breaching shot skills. And from the piloting line of skills, I need the evasive movement skill once again. So all skill level slots in the gunnery skill line confer a bonus to accuracy so maxing out that line is a no brainer. The skill multi target is also useful as, as its name implies, allows you to target different enemies. Reaching shot is good for damaging well entrenched enemies as your shot ignores cover and the guarded status so long as you fire only one weapon at an enemy. And yes, it still kicks in if you multi-target and allocate only one weapon per hostile unit. For a mobile mech, evasive movement is also an obvious choice. For the last unit in my lance, the artillery mech, or what is referred to in the Battletech universe as a missile boat, it's all about accuracy and mitigating the penalty of indirect fire. For this role, the gunnery and tactics lines are obvious choices. Now the sensor lock and the multi-target skills have been explained. The sensor lock skill isn't so useful but the passive bonus of indirect fire penalty mitigation makes maxing out the tactics branch worth the effort. The master tactician skill removes one pip of instability when reserving and grants your pilot plus one initiative, a very useful trait since a missile boat packs quite a punch. Obliterate enemies before they can even move. I then discovered that Battletech has this system of giving pilots titles based on their skill build. These are going to be the titles of the mech warriors I'm going to assemble. Having tactics level 5 plus level 8 piloting gives the title Recon. Having pilot level 5 plus level 8 Guts gives the title Brawler. Having piloting level 5 plus level 8 Gunnery gives the title Skirmisher. Having gunnery level 5 plus level 8 tactics gives the title Striker. So my team composition will be Recon, Skirmisher, Striker, and the Brawler. There are some notes I've listed however. Notes 1. Up until I can get an Assault Mech, I won't be specking any Mech Warrior with a Brawler combo. I'll probably get a Sniping Type Pilot. The skills will be gunnery, multi-target, and breaching shot, while on the guts line of things, the bulwark skill. So according to the site gameplay tips, uh, that skill combo will be called um, Lancer. That will be the title given to the pilot with that skill combo. Note 2. Moving forward, I'll be funneling all experience points into the piloting pips for my scout mech warriors. Note 3. If ever I do get an assault mech with arms, I'll be pro um, about assault mechs with arms. Well, the ones with arms have, I think, a um, higher chance of pulling off a melee attack. I I'm not too sure about that though, so don't quote me on that. Anyway, if I ever do get an assault mech with arms, I'll be prioritizing the guts skill line first. After bulwark, I'll be funneling experience points just to get evasive movement then work my way to Juggernaut. Note 4. For my Skirmisher, I'll be prioritizing multi-target first, then max out piloting, except for the level 8 cornerstone skill. I'll then get Breaching Shot last. I believe this should be the perfect balance between survivability and lethality while accruing experience points. Note 5. There's nothing to discuss about a missile boat methinks. They're as straightforward as they come. We'll probably rush the level 5 gunnery skill first, then work on the tactics side of things. Number 6. If I don't get an artillery mech in the early phases of the game, I'd probably get another skirmisher. So team composition will be, as has been mentioned, this is my ideal lens. Recon, skirmisher, striker, and brawler. In the meantime, if I can get a brawler, the lineup will be 
Recon, Skirmisher, Striker, and Lancer. Now, if I can't get a Striker in the early phases, the Lancer will be, worst case scenario, Recon, Skirmisher, Skirmisher, Lancer. And that's it. I hope this Battletech Lance setup will work well enough for me. There's something wrong with how I've thought up these pilot skill combos and lands lineup. Constructive criticisms will be very much welcome. Comment in the section below. I'm pretty sure I'll learn a lot from you guys. So this has been Retroburn and if you like this battle attack lands building and pilot skill combo builds setup guide, please like the video, comment and or subscribe. Stay cool, stay frosty.